Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Patient Guard channel. Today, we have an important topic to discuss, the In Vitro Diagnostic Regulations EU 2017-746, also known as the IVDR. This regulation has significant implications for the medical device industry in Europe, and we're going to break it down for you in this video. But before we dive in, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update on important regulatory topics like this one. So what exactly is the IVDR? In short, it's a set of regulations introduced by the European Union to govern in vitro diagnostic devices, or IVD. IVDs are medical devices used to perform tests on samples from the human body, such as blood, urine, or tissue, to diagnose diseases or conditions. Now, you might wonder why we needed new regulations. The previous directive was outdated, and advancements in technology demanded a more comprehensive approach to ensure the safety and efficacy of these devices. The IVDR aims to enhance patient safety, increase transparency, and promote innovation in the IVD industry. Now, you might wonder why we needed new regulations. The previous directive was outdated, and advancements in technology demanded a more comprehensive approach to ensure the safety and efficacy of these devices. The IVDR aims to enhance patient safety, increase transparency, and promote innovation in the IVD industry. Let's talk about some key changes brought about by the IVDR. 1. Stricter scrutiny. The IVDR increases the scrutiny of IVD, especially those with higher risks. Manufacturers must provide more extensive clinical data and demonstrate the performance of their devices, ensuring that they meet the highest standards of safety and effectiveness. 2. New classification. The regulation introduces a risk-based classification system for IVD, which means different devices will be subject to different levels of scrutiny based on their potential risk to patients. 3. Enhanced traceability. The IVDR places a strong emphasis on traceability, requiring manufacturers to provide unique device identifier for each product. This helps track and trace IVDs throughout their life cycle, making recalls more effective if safety issues arise. 4. Notified bodies. The role of notified bodies, organizations responsible for assessing the conformity of IVD, is reinforced under the IVDR. They play a crucial role in ensuring that devices meet the regulatory requirements. 5. Post-market surveillance. Manufacturers must establish robust post-market surveillance systems to monitor the safety and performance of their products once they are on the market. This enhances ongoing safety assessment. Now, an important point to note is that there is a transition period for compliance with the IVDR. The regulation was officially adopted in 2017 and the full application date is May 26, 2022. However, in January 2022, the European Parliament and the Council adopted a staggered extension of its transition period, ranging from 26 May 2025 for high risk in vitro diagnostics to 26 May 2027 for lower risk in vitro diagnostics, and to 26 May 2028 for certain provisions concerning devices manufactured and used in health institutions. In conclusion, the In Vitro Diagnostic Regulations EU 2017-746 represents a significant shift in how IVD are regulated in Europe. These changes aim to ensure patient safety, improve the quality of IVD, and foster innovation in the industry. If you want to dive deeper into the IVDR, stay tuned for our upcoming videos where we'll discuss specific aspects in more detail. And remember, Regulatory compliance is crucial to succeed in the European market. So make sure to subscribe and keep learning with us. That's all for today's video. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the In Vitro Diagnostic Regulations EU 2017-746. 
If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your colleagues in the medical device industry. As always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, leave a comment down below. Patient Guard, making regulation easy.